Hey, what up? It's Ty 1822 here to review in Pet Wrestling. So, Impact Wrestling kicks up with the immortal Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, you know, calls out Sting, telling Sting, you know what? My bad, Sting, you know, all the personal issues between my daughter, you know, the things with Bully Ray. I, you know, I told you to leave my reign. Sting, we should come together. Sting and Hogan shake hands. Then Matt Morgan comes out. You know, Matt Morgan wants to be number one contender for Bully Ray. Uh, TNA Heavyweight Championship at Slam Anniversary. And Hogan told Morgan, I am not giving the belt. Ah, I am not giving a title shot to you, I meant to say. Then, you know, he said, hey, I'm not even giving the title match to Sting just like that. He announced later on it will be Matt Morgan versus Sting in the main event. The winner will face Bully Ray for the TNA World Heavyweight Championship at Slam Anniversary. Triple Threat X Division match, Zima Eon versus Sanjay Dutt and the return of Chris Saban. Chris Saban been one of my favorite X Division wrestlers for a long time. Chris Saban tore his ACL once again last year, and this guy looked very good in this match. This was an entertaining X Division match right here. Chris Saban gets the victory, man. I'm so happy to see this guy back in the ring, man. I wish Alex Shelley come back to TNA for the Motor City Machine Guns to reunite, because that's one of the Best tag teams, man, I ever watched in professional wrestling, man. I hope Alex Shelley come back. You know, him and Chris Steve get back together as a tag team. Robbie E., uh, Joey Ryan, Jesse versus Rob Terry. Rob Terry squashed all the guys. Hmm, somebody tweeted me. I'm just looking at that sign. Okay. Austin Aries, um, Robert Roo comes out, and Robert Roo's talking about, you know, Daniels and Cass got in here, you know, talking about let's reformate the fortune stable. Then, you know, Daniels and Cass come out, uh, you know, Daniels and Cass say how they are the best tag team. Robert Roo and uh, Austin Aries are not the best tag team in TNA. And Robert Roo, Austin Aries, Daniels and Cass will finally have a match. I always wanted to see this match. The winners will face Chavo Guerrero or Hernandez for the TNA Tag Team titles. D'Lo Brown versus Kurt Angle in an I Quit match. The first I Quit match in history of professional wrestling with no buildup. But I ain't gonna lie. I mean, it was cool to see D'Lo Brown back in the ring, even though, you know, he's like 30, 40, 50 pounds overweight. But, you know, just as a fan of D'Lo Brown from back in the day, it was cool to see him back in the ring. Him and Kurt Angle put on a okay, I quit match. Kurt Angle put on a great match with anybody. Kurt Angle ends up defeating D'Lo Brown. D'Lo Brown said, I quit. Gail Kim and Tara versus Tyron Terrell and um, Mickey James. Tyron Terrell, Mickey James gets the victory. Okay, knockouts match. Then after the match was over, you know, they got in a brawl. Gail Kim takes out Tyra Terrell. You know, uh, she did the old Bret Hart thing. What was it? Like, he puts you on uh, the ring post, and uh, he grabbed your leg and put you in that figure four leg lock, you know, like Bret Hart did back in the day. Uh, see, one thing I like about TNA with the knockouts, they, see, don't, they got a storyline going on. You know, they got Gail Kim taking out Tyra Terrell, the woman that kept beating her, beating her. In WWE, you don't get stuff like that. See, they got stuff like... You know, she get attacked after a match. I love that stuff about Tanny, making the, the, the knockouts feel very important of the show. It's a storyline going on. That's what Tanny had the advantage over WWE when it comes to professional women wrestling. The main event, Sting versus Matt Morgan. This was an okay main event right here. Um, Sting defeats Matt Morgan with the Scorpion Deathlock. Matt Morgan didn't tap out. He passed out. And this is the fourth year in a row that Sting will be in the main event at Slammiversary. God damn, somebody on Twitter said that. And I, was, I was like, damn, really? Four straight years Sting in the main event at Slammiversary. But I'm not going to bitch about Sting, you know, being in the, uh, the main event at Slammiversary. And the reason why, because it's no longer in the impact zone. Now, those impact zone, I'll bitch about it because he shouldn't be in the, the main event. But Boston, pay per view in Boston. I mean, they, they gonna love, they gonna love Sting. I mean, Sting gonna be, he's a draw on a rule, just not when it was like an impact zone, and I couldn't stand seeing Sting in the main event. But when you're on a roll, Sting going against Bully Ray, I'm cool with that right there. And tonight, impact, you know, 
it was just there, you know, I didn't really get into the show, but it's a double tape, and I don't expect a lot from a double tape impact. So, this was like, damn, it's like a short-ass review. It was like, really that, oh, hold on, let me go back to something real quick. Uh, you know, Chavo, Chavo, Chavo Guerrero Hernandez came out during that segment with, uh, Kaz and Daniels and Robert Root and, uh, Austin Aries, and, um, James Storm will be the, the uh, special guest referee for that tag team match next week for the TNA tag team titles for, uh, I'm all messing up, the number one contender for the tag team championships. That's very random. James Storm is a special guest referee in a tag team match that has nothing to do with those four guys. And I've got to mention that, uh, you know, Kurt Angle uh, called out uh, AJ Styles after the match, you know, saying, hey, going to Ace and the Ace, you know, that's the easy way out. You know, he's just talking about the history between both guys, and AJ Styles just left. So now I'm done on my review. So don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.